guys, welcome back to my channel and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's hard to imagine oil having its worst week in five just before the start of an OPEC meeting. Yet, as the saying goes, it is what it is. The lockdown in nearly 18 million people in China touched so Shenzhen over a new COVID fight bullet crude futures down from Friday's hike that in Italy drove both West Texas intermediate and Brent crude of more than 3% on the day that left both crude benchmarks down more than 6% for the week, their most dismal showing signs the week ended jelly 25. New York tried West Texas Intermediate, the benchmark for U.S. crude satellite up 26 cents or 3% at $86 per barrel after a session take at $89 was down in three prior session losing 3% on Thursday, 2% on Wednesday, and 5% on Tuesday. That left the U.S. crude bands marked down 6% for the week. The London Traded Global benchmark for oil satellite Friday tried up 66 center or one person brand was down in three prior session losing five person on thursday two person and wednesday k destroyed in shenzhen shut down public transport and extended curbs on public activities on friday as cities across china badlet Press coronavirus outbreak that have dampened the outlook for economy recovery, Rod said in a report. China is the world top importer, and any curbs on the movement of its people can usually have detrimental effect on its crude consumption. Six disrupt compressing the majority of Shenzhen's population of almost. 18 million announced that all residents would be tested twice for COVID-19 over the weekend as subway and bus services were suspended, the readers reported it. Also pulling oil loan from Friday hike was the Biden administration latest tech on effort to revive the era nuclear deal, the cold path the way for the remove of U.S. sanitation that if a bullshit could add up to a million barrels per day of the Islamic Republic crude on the global export market. The White House said there should be no link between the re-implantation of the Iran nuclear debt and Tehran's obligation under the non proliferation proliferation treaty that was too strongest signal yet that Washington really wanted a revival of the deal agreed between Iran and six global power in 2020 20 and 15 under the aegis of the Obama administration the Trump administration that came on later consulate and deal in 20 and 18 and places sent Sensation on Tehran, President Joe Biden, on entering office in January last year, allowed negotiation to begin with the aim of reviving the deal. The White House made clear on Friday that there was no deal as yet. Iran's response didn't put us in a position to close a deal as we want close a deal unless Iran meets the terms we have set forth. We are not there yet. A Wales House National Security Council spokesperson 
was called it, saying in a tweet by Iran International or London Basis TV station that reported an Iranian virus. It's clear from Iran's response that the cap still remain. The tweet added. Okay, I think that's for me. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.